Hey guys, I finally got the bumper put together. It took a, a whole day and about 200 bucks. So it's really a pretty good deal. You know how we all talked about what we wanted to do with the bumper and how we wanted it to look? Well, I mocked it up the best that I could. I got a little bit of foam and some composite, like fiberglass cloth and fiberglass resin. And I made sort of templates using, um, you know, spray can flat black. And I used a straight edge uh, piece of aluminum and, a, and just a knife and cut it all up so that I could mock up what it would look like on the vehicle. Then I taped it all up uh, with just a little bit of masking tape because I'm going to pour um, liquid expanding foam inside it, you know, to hold it all together you know, before I fiberglass it. So I taped up all the edges so that it couldn't pour through. So I laid it face down and I put energy absorbing uh, pieces of foam strategically in there that would ride on the intrusion beam, which is basically the real bumper that's underneath the plastic skin that the vehicle came with. So if it was to get hit in an accident, it would still act as if it was a you know, factory bumper, if not better than the factory bumper. So anyway, um, once I laid it down and poured it full of the expanding foam, put all the cubes in place and, and did all that, I flipped it back over and I had to trim everything that, you know, there was a little bit of spill off that came through. So I just used the knife, took the tape off and cut off, cut off that excess that was there. Then I proceeded to fiberglass the whole outside. I don't know what this glass is called. I believe it's called biaxle. It's like a mesh on one side and a weave on, on the other side. And it's, I mean, really, really thick, really heavy stuff. So I put two layers of that on there and, and squeegeed it all out really good. And then I added uh, carbondo to the sides. And using the carbondo, I was able to flatten it out and be able to figure out about, you know, where it's going to go. And you can see the density of everything. Are you going to be able to open and close the hood of the car? Where are the bolts going to go? Whatever. That's basically where it's going to be. But I've left the whole center the way that it was. You know, it's, it's still exposed fiberglass so that we can talk about that today. Because on Lear jets, I work on Lears, and they have something on some of the Lears that the guys refer to as called the bird splitter. And it's between the two windshields. And it's, you know, it's designed to deflect off a bird, obviously. So I thought maybe we could come up with something really cool and put it in the middle and call it the body splitter. So I don't know, you know, it, it, it's, it's a work in progress. I'm going to give you guys something to look at, to vote on. Let's talk about it. But that's as far as I got. And like I said, you know, it was only 250 bucks, somewhere around there. And, and it was one day of labor. So that's where I'm at, guys. <laughs> and I'm absolutely shot. So let's talk about it.